everybody, it's Man, and I'm coming to you with day eight of 30 Inks 30 Days, and yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna get to town. So I have been promising like a work appropriate ink, and I, you know, got away with this one. This one might be pushing it a little bit, but I really, really, really want to use one of my favorite shimmer inks, shiny black. So we're going to go ahead and use that. I've already inked the pen. Um, because this kind of has been its permanent home. So we have my Twisby Eco Smoke and Rose Gold. And um, yeah, I've kind of left, I've kind of like let this live in this pen. So um, yeah, instead of like choosing a different pen, I thought I'd just like refill it. And um, yeah, we'd move on to um, another time. I did want to mention, um, I do want to do some comparisons of the inks that we have chosen already but i think i'm going to probably do that in a, in a separate video just because i haven't taken the time to gather all my cards together to keep them together and all that stuff so um yeah so um yeah like this one specifically and then um yeah i don't know if anybody i like maybe this one i don't know i want to see what some of them look like next to other inks so um and i know other people do as well especially that jack frost so um yeah um, so yeah, but shiny black is by Colorverse. It's one of their, um, project inks. It's project number one. Um, I ordered the samples to test it out and then ordered a, a bottle for a friend as a birthday present. And then, um, yeah, I, then I decided that the sample wasn't enough and I wanted my own. So I got my own bottle and I love it. It's beautiful. It's probably one of my favorite shimmer inks. It's probably like my second favorite shimmer ink. Um, my first being one that we haven't seen yet, but as soon as we get there, I will let you know. Zoom in a little bit. You can see the shimmer. I haven't had any problems, even though this looks like it's pretty clogged. Um, I haven't had any problems with, oh, look at all the shimmer on their feet. I haven't any pro had any problems with this clogging. Watch it make me a liar now. Um, okay. Okay, good. Um, April 2021. Day 8. <laughs> Time for some splattage. I'm going to shake this up. Okay, just to demonstrate sort of how I do the shimmer, because there were some comments in the comments. I literally take the syringe, it's empty. I pull up some ink. There's tons of ink in here. You don't need that money that much ink. I just, then I empty it and there's the tiniest bit in this reservoir here and in the, and in the syringe part still. That's literally all you need. And as you'll see, I pull it back a couple of times. I hold one side and then I just like force it out. This one seemed like it had a little too much ink. This one had a little too much ink in it, so, um, yeah. But yeah, as you can see, you don't need much of any, you don't need much of it at all. It's literally, like, nothing. It's just the force of the air pushing out what's in the syringe. Um, yeah. Oh, gosh. It's so pretty and so sparkly. And these are, like, not necessarily shimmer. Like, sometimes in the light, like, depending on how you catch the light, it's, like, different colored shimmer. Although prime is primarily showing up silver on the camera. It's just, there's so much in here. It's so pretty. I just love it. I just love it. 
Okay, we'll set that off to dry. Um, I do wanna do, instead of doing fun facts, I do wanna do some tips for using shimmer inks. Um, I don't know what day I'm going to do that. I just happen to really like the facts that I found for today. Um, so maybe a day that I don't care about the facts or whatever is when I'll do that, or maybe on the last day. Um, we'll see, just but because people have asked about tips. My biggest tip is don't be afraid of them. Um, if you are somebody that doesn't like cleaning pens out, which I mean, I don't like cleaning pens, but I like, I like my love of shimmer inks far outweighs my hatred of cleaning pens out. So, um, yeah, so I'm okay using shimmer inks in whatever pen I have sitting around, basically. I typically use Twisbees because they are easy to take apart if I need to deep clean them. Um, they're very easy to clean out, even if you don't have to take them apart to deep clean them. Um, I just, yeah, plus like, you get to see it sloshing around in the pen, and I just really love that. Um, yeah, so as you've seen, like, there have been a couple of pens the last couple of days where they have been not necessarily pens that you could see through. So, yeah, it just depends on what you want. You just got to know that if you're going to set a pen down and you want to, um, use it again, you're going to have to, like, agitate the ink and shake it up a little bit so you can use the shimmer. And, um, yeah, um, some people have an ultrasonic cleaner for cleaning out dried ink and shimmer. I, it's a thing that's on my list to get someday, but it's not a big deal for me. Um, yeah, I actually don't use shimmer inks a whole ton. This is probably the most I've used shimmer inks in a while, unless it's one that I just have permanently inked, like this one, or even, um, a pen that we haven't gotten to yet. Um... Yeah, I just, I don't know. I like shimmer inks. I like the sparkle. I think it's interesting. Um, you know, I'm writing work notes in a shimmery black. Who cares? Like, who cares? So, <laughs> I don't know. It's just something to give me um, joy in what I'm writing. And I like, I like seeing it in my journal. I like writing letters. I don't know. They're interesting to me and I like them. Um, I like some more than others, either because of colors or various issues, but I haven't had too many issues with sparkly inks. Now, I would never put a shimmer ink in a Lamy Safari or an All Star, although I had somebody in the comments that specifically only uses Lamy All Stars or Safaris for their shimmer inks, but when I have done it, my inks have clogged. So this particular pen, um, it doesn't have the ink in it now, but I had a Diamine Shimmer Tastic Golden Ivy. I used it for um, Christmas cards. I had the ink in this specific pen for two years, and every time I opened it up, it wrote just fine. So um, I actually have, we're going to do an experiment um, one of these days. I don't know if it'll be tomorrow or it'll, if it'll be um, a day next week, but um, I have had a shimmer ink in a pen for over a year and I maybe have opened it one time um, since then. Um, so yeah, we're gonna take a look at that. It's another Twisby Eco um, surprise, but yeah, that's another one that we'll look at. But anyway, I've rambled on enough. Let's get to writing. I probably should have been writing while I was talking, but that's not how I did things today. <laughs> let's see, let's move this over. I think I'm not zoomed in enough. Oops, no, zoom in, not out. Okay. I'm so sorry. I need to like re-tighten my um, arm. I can tell it's loose because the camera shakes a little more when I write. I don't know if anybody else notices it, but I notice it when I'm like editing. Nobody said anything, but if it bothers you, trust me, it bothers me as well. Okay, so our ink is, um, colors. Shiny black, and the pen is a Twisby. Oops, not a 580. Eco. I was thinking about my 580. <laughs> Twisby Eco Smoke. Rose Gold. And a broad nib. Okay, so for our fun facts today, I have um, 
Well, I do have four inks or four uh, facts. Um, two are kind of cool to me and two are just, I thought they were neat. So um, we'll start with the oldest one as we have been doing. 1820. ancient Greek statue Venus de Milo is discovered on the Aege Aegean island of uh, Milos or Milos I'm inclined to say Milos but yeah so that's pretty neat another thing about this paper is I feel like I have to print on this paper I print way more on this paper I mean not that I do like any fancy cursive writing, but my writing, my handwriting style is kind of a hybrid of print writing and cursive writing, and I just feel like I have to write each letter out in print to look nice on this paper. I don't know. This is a long one. Did not finish my attack. My um, I did not finish the fact. I'm just gonna say result in violence. <laughs> uh, yeah, but I can get behind wanting better education and living conditions. <laughs> so I wrote that fact down. Okay, this is this is probably going to be a neat fact for um, several people that I know and love. In 1990, Twin Peaks. Um. Twin Peaks, created by David Lynch and starring Kyle MacLachlan, premieres on ABC. And then the last fact, which is a local fact. not surprised that it was a place in California that did that so yeah so those are <coughs> excuse me those are our facts for today I think the 1990 fact about Twin Peaks is my favorite look at how shiny and shimmery that is oh my gosh I love the sink okay now we need to do some splats Just realized I never shook this bottle of ink, so I'm going to do this before we do our splats. I probably kicked up some shimmer when I was um, doing that, but. Okay, so what I did differently that time is I filled it, I emptied it, and then I emptied it one more time where it was not in the ink so we could eat, have even less. So maybe these will be a little less juicy. And you can see the drop that's in the reservoir here. So let's see how our splats come out. You can see there's like nothing in there. I'm just trying to push ink around at this point. See what we can do. Yeah, there we go. 
splattage. So that will take some time to dry. Oh my gosh, I love this ink so much. I love this ink so much. Um, okay. So here we go. Shimmer, shimmer, shimmer. I'm wondering if you can see it. I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but it's just like multicolored shimmer. It's so pretty. It reads mostly silver, but there's a depth to the color and the shimmer. I could see it especially if like I have my overhead light on. It's just so pretty. It's so pretty. Anyway, so here's my work appropriate shimmer ink. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I hope that you enjoyed this video, and um, I look forward to seeing you tomorrow with another shiny, shimmery ink. <laughs> I hope that you are having a wonderful day, and I will talk to you soon. Take care. Love you, bye.